since my people, some of them, they don't know how to read and write, we actually use these color cords. All the ones that go from the beginning to the end of the rope, the blue rope will be SL28. We're doing another color for the regular bourbon, and we're doing another color for the orange bourbon that we're having there. Checking out the bourbon I was telling you about my friend has, that she's been working it for 25 years, actually it says a mutation she has in her farm. I actually try a cup of what it's most I like it, it's, it's a big cherry. Even though the seed is a, it's a, it's a 16, 17, like probably the size of the Ikatu, but the cherry is as big as probably Maracatura, so that means a lot of mucilage in it. So it's really sweet. And uh, it grows really bushy also, but tall at the same time. Nietzsche is one of our caporales. He is Natanael's dad, and he's also the one that's helping us. As you can see, these are the seeds we planted, and these are the babies that are coming out right now. So when these are tall enough, we're taking them out, see the root if it's okay, and then we're planting it into the bags. This is a discarder because you can see it's bent, and the roots are not, they don't have another root over here, just the one, so this is not gonna be a good tree, so we discard it. And all those are our shade trees. So we got the Pepeto Peludo, you could see the leaves are different, and we got the Pepeto de Rio. And with the Bourbon, we're doing something called agobio. What does it mean? When we plant the tree, we bend one of the branches from below to make the new branches come out. So we just leave this one and this one, making the tree produce two times more than if we had leave, leave it as a single bourbon tree with one branch. In Kenya, there was a lot of rain. You have a big landslide, all this area. We lost all this coffee, and since then we just did the barriers. Yeah, to prevent erosion. We had a reservation area, we preserved that area. There's no coffee there. We actually decided to have that area near where we have a water hall. They say we have monkeys, we have deers, rabbits they actually can access to the water that way, so we don't touch that land. No, Valentin was telling me that this is an old road that was constructed a, a very long time ago, and we it went from the entrance of the farm up here. So at that time, there was no, no more uh, trucks, so you have to use uh, donkeys or ox to carry things come in and, and also to carry coffee out. Aquí la, la vida mía, yo soy de Santiago de María. Sí, de Santiago de María, de allí pequeñito, mi, mis padres, mis abuelos me trajeron a cortar. Estaba pequeñito. Me fui haciendo adulto, me, me llevaron al cuartel. Me tuve cuatro años. Regresé de vuelta a trabajar aquí. Ah, yo comencé a trabajar en el 91. Después de los acuerdos de paz. Hasta entonces estoy aquí trabajando. Sí. No, es que trabajo cortando café. Como niñito, como niñito. Andaba mi mamá ahí con otros viendo el corto bien, hijo, corto bien. This is like my signature here. I turn to paint my nails red. So when it's during harvest time, I actually show the pickers red, the right red. This is the red you have to pick, the right red. Actually, I use a more burgundy one. Today, I use a more brighter one. But when you actually put this between the cherries, it looks very similar. So last year, I gave nail polish to the pickers and actually matched the color on the cherries for the picking. Thank <laughs> you.
Right now we are sorting the coffee. Even though it's ripe, you can see my nails in it. So see the color? We still have these ones that are not well ripe. They're hard, so they are not ripe enough for the gourmet coffee. So we take out the ones that are not okay. It's like this is right. This is not right. <laughs> well, these cherries are dried as natural because these are the good cherries that somehow came out to be a floater because one cherry was full and the other one was hollow. So this float is actually the one that we're gonna be seeing afterwards when the screening of the cherry is. So it's a good, actually a good cherry. So instead of wasting it as a floater for Z Market coffee, we actually treat it as a natural and we are drying it here, but we are actually cleaning it before we bag it. Kiskara is actually the cherry. This is a uh, deep pulp cherry, so it doesn't have the cherry, the, the seed in it. It's only the cherry, the cascara, actually, and dried in patios. We actually, these ones, we set it in patios for a while, and then we put it in beds, in raised beds, to dry it slowly. We are going to put it a little bit in the dryer so we can kill any germ or anything that could have been uh, in the casca. So then you can use these for beer or for tea or now they're using it for frozen lemonade. We make sorbet from it. We do iced tea. We make um, infusions. Yeah.